Good day friends, it's Chris and for this video, we're going to talk about the different techniques that you could do with graphite pencils and colored pencils. I have been using these two mediums for about, I guess, a year or so already. Um, I've been using graphite but just to use as outlines and guides for my initial sketches but to use them on full drawings, I've only just discovered its full potential very recently. And using colored pencils, I spent more time with colored pencils as opposed to graphite, which is funny because graphite is usually the first media that we try and it's usually the one that we start off with before going to other mediums. Anyway, this art piece that we're going to do is a fan art of Vincent van Gogh and it's inspired by watching this series from Doctor Who, Vincent and the Doctor, which is basically a retelling and a fantasy of what if Vincent van Gogh knew that he would be successful in the future. And um, it's pretty amazing and it set me to a rabbit hole learning more about his personal life and his struggles as a person, as an artist, and everything that he went through. Anyway, to talk about more on the techniques and um, a little bit of fanboying when it comes to Vincent van Gogh, let's go now to the table. With most of my art pieces, I usually start with a initial sketch and then I'll transfer it using a transfer sheet to the surface that I plan to work on. In this case, I made use of a 10B pencil on my transfer sheet and then I just used a blending stub or a colorless blender to really transfer it, which you've seen there on that quick snip. Let's talk about colored pencils first. Colored pencils uses pigments that adheres to the surface with a binder usually consisting of wax oil and sometimes fillers like clay or chalk or even mica powder. The balance of those different substances used to adhere the pigment to paper and other surfaces are proprietary depending on which line of pencil you use, which brand, and depending also on what pigment is being used. So in using colored pencils, you usually would be the type of person that is very patient with your work. Colored pencils takes time to use and the best techniques of using colored pencils is when you layer and patiently blend one color into the next. Usually you go by small circular motions and use thin layers on top of other thin layers that you use and that makes each drawing more realistic and more dynamic. With this art piece though, I took all those techniques and put it in my back pocket and tried to adopt some of those techniques that I could associate with the art style of Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh is known for his impasto style of painting through oils which is basically using thick layers of colors and manipulating those thick layers of oils with a palette knife and that's why most of his pieces are so expressive and if you could see them in person his oil oil on canvas are very thick so i sort of tried to adopt that in my coloring technique of his portrait i initially used thin layers of colorful undertones and then head over now to layering some thick skin tones on top of his portrait. When you work with colored pencils, usually you would want to use small circular strokes in order to make each and every layer seamless and make those layers blend into the ones that you put underneath. And I try to incorporate that but I also took from the art style of Vincent van Gogh and I tried now to make some of my marks very visible as if they were just etched there and not blended into the others which you could see here um, it's pretty intentional but at the same time I think it's naturally me when it comes to coloring as well. I also selected bright colors for the undertone of the skin so that it could peer through similar now to the color selection of Vincent van Gogh um, he used a lot of bright 
teals and blues and yellows on his drawings particularly his landscapes and i just wanted to try that out on this art piece then there's also his lack of using shadows i tried my best to um be sparing when it comes to using darker tones since most of his art pieces are bright and um his art is inspired also by the japanese style of painting where there is basically an omitment of using shadows but in my case here on this art piece i still try to incorporate some of the shadows that i see i finished off this art piece by also adding a dark outline to his portrait and then a white outline outside of the black lines it's of course inspired by how i usually see the sketches of scott christian sava so there's that when it comes to using colored pencils basically the techniques that you could use with colored pencils light layers and then um, blending colors one on top of each other and using light circular strokes in order to blend the different layers that you put one on top of the other this would result to a sort of a painterly look to your drawings and then of course trying to sort of disrupt the natural system by inserting some of the techniques that i observe from vincent van gogh so i guess this is the point now in the video we're in i sort of fanboy about the different things that i've learned about vincent van gogh um in modern day dsm5 apa standards um, he demonstrated and showcased symptoms of having bipolar disorder which is basically experiencing manic and depressive states and during his manic stages that's the time where he usually do some of the things that we hear about especially that he experiences psychotic symptoms one reason why he cut off a part of his earlobe is because of hearing voices and if only he had access to modern day medication i think he would have avoided and um, stopped himself from hurting himself that much now when it comes to using graphite um it's very similar now to using colored pencils wherein you usually go layer by layer i am using a variety of darkness of the pencils um you know that when it comes to pencils it's graded by either an h for hardness these ones are the more gray colored pencils and then you have the b range which are now the different um black and darker tones of graphite i think that the pigment that makes graphite pencils black are carbon pigments and um, these are usually more light fast compared now to the colorings that's there on colored pencils so that's an advantage that graphite has over colored pencils um as you will be seeing here i as i've mentioned i'm working layer by layer but i'm also using different varieties of graphite pencils there are 2b's 6b's even as dark as 10b's but you will see later on me interjecting is a special type of graphite pencils these are now the matte dark um pencils i think that i am using the steadler ones and these are the noirs if i'm not mistaken i had a video talking about the different graphite pencils and i'll be linking it on the card below so when it comes to techniques of using graphite pencils um simply shading lightly and then blending it up with a blending stub to make it nice and seamless then later on other techniques that you may observe me doing are now lifting the initial layers of graphite using a rubber eraser in order now to lighten the graphite values that i see here i also took advantage of working with a gray toned paper by adding also white pastel 
pencils and white gel pens notice here at this point the difference between the impact of color to two different art pieces both are meant to showcase a strong emotion of sadness but at the same time happiness which i hope that it shows here i've learned from art classes when i was back in college that usually having art pieces black and white brings out more emotions to an art piece and i guess that's very prevalent here the difference between the two the one in the graphite seems like it has a harder impact when it comes to the emotional aspect while the bright colorful ones showcase sort of a zany happy vibe So here's the final outputs, the one in colored pencil and then you have here the one in graphite pencils. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. I hope you learned a thing or two from using colored pencils or using graphite pencils. I know that the different techniques that I've shown or talked about were not very technical at all. Just a speed drawing in the background while I fanboy over Vincent van Gogh and discuss the different techniques that I know. But um, in any case, and in hindsight, my goal for this video is actually to just hopefully become your springboard towards making more art pieces. So I hope you have a great day, week, month, year ahead of you. And I wish you all the love. And as always, peace. Take care.